Imagine that everybody knows about the worst thing you have ever done in your life. That's what it's like to be Coach Gray. Coach Greg, and today I'm here to talk to you about past mistakes. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my past. I'm going to tell you about how it affects you in the future and get into a little bit of how people like to bully you and different things. Some of you may know I have a business, an actual business called Coach Greg Inc. I consider it to be very successful. It's successful enough and busy enough that I had to hire employees. So I put out a job ad for an administrative position. One of the people I chose to interview then wrote this this morning. I'm going to read it. I'm not going to say their name. And they're not going to know about it because they don't watch my videos anyway. So who cares? I wish to thank you immensely for your kind consideration for the initial interview invitation for the admin position with Coach Greg. I'm a health enthusiast, eat healthy, work out five days a week, one hour of cardio daily, lift weights, and take protein powder and supplements like CLA and branched chain amino acids. Having said that, health and fitness are one of my first loves. 2015, I designed my own sugar-free meal plan workout regimen. I was able to get a six pack of my own without personal trainer. Hence, I am really serious about health and fitness. Unfortunately, after conducting some research about the company, I came across some disturbing information about Greg as it pertains to steroid smuggling, his conviction and probation in 2012, as well as he's banned from cycling for eight years. Oh, shame on that coach, Greg. He has a past, a criminal past. So yeah, I smuggled steroids. What does that mean? It means that I imported, as in took steroids from one country over here to this country over here. That's not legal. It's not. So I broke the law. I also sold these steroids, sold them to people. Friends of mine bought the steroids. I did that. It's in the past. What happened? I pled guilty. Because I did it. I was like, yeah, I did it. Then what happened? I got 20 months of house arrest and a $52,000 fine. Yep, it happened. What can I say about it? I did it. This right. So every day I read comments. Every single day comments. Are you going to listen to that guy? He just screams a lot. He sold steroids. Smuggler, he's a criminal. I can't listen to that guy because he did a bad thing. Every single day, hundreds, not a one or two, there's hundreds of it. Does it bother me? Not really, a little bit. I mean, I wish I could go in the past and have not done it. It would be cool if I could have just back in time, erase all the things in my past, take it away and redo things. I would change probably a million things I've done in my past and redo them. Any one of you watching this video, is any one of you, one of you, is there one person watching this that's perfect, that never made one freaking mistake in your life? One, not one. Are you thinking for more than five seconds? Because if you think that you are not one of the people that did things wrong in your life, at one point, one time, at least once in your life, did you do something that you regret, that maybe you shouldn't have done, that you wish you hadn't have done, hadn't have said, hadn't have reacted that way. There's millions probably. At least for me, there is millions. And should that be the sole decision, the sole thing to judge someone on for the rest of their life? For the rest of your life, that's all that people should remember about you. I would argue that I've done more good things than bad things. If it's on a balancing scale, I've done more of the good and less of the bad, so I'm on the plus side. So this person refuses to work for me because I'm an evil person for selling steroids and bringing him into this country because they were in another country and I brought him into this country, okay? And in Canada, steroids are legal. You're allowed to have steroids. In this country, I'm in Canada, so don't judge me based on a different country. It's legal. Right here, it is legal to use steroids. I'm on HRT. What is HRT for those of you living under a rock? You don't know. HRT is hormone replacement therapy. So after years of abuse of steroids, my body didn't produce the steroids on their own. They didn't produce the testosterone properly. 
So the doctor prescribed me testosterone and said, here you go, and it's actually an endocrinologist, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who prescribed it. The doctor did. Said, you need this. You need it. Then I entered a local bike freaking race. Local. Did I travel across the country to do it? Nope. Was it against the best cyclists in the world? The best cyclists in the country? In the province? Nope. It was in the C division. There's A, B, C, and D. D is for complete newbies that don't know how to ride a bike. They're like 100 pounds overweight or out of shape. I entered in the C race. There's B, they're pretty good. And then there's A, they're really good. I entered in the C days. They came to drug test me without telling me and without saying that it's going to be drug tested, without knowing that there was any problem with being on HRT during this time. And I entered the race, and to my surprise, you come and test Coach Greg. This before Coach Greg was Coach Greg. Greg was just Greg, the former smuggler, the horrible steroid dealer, the bad human being for getting people steroids in a country where it's legal to use steroids. But it's illegal to import them from this country to this country. But it's legal to take them. You can have them. You can walk around and say, hey, I have a bottle of testosterone. It's not illegal. Let me remind you that marijuana was legal a couple years ago. Weed, it was more illegal than steroids. More illegal. More, more, as in more, as in it was worse. It was a class two drug. Steroids, class four, class four. The lower the number, the worse. One, two, three, four. Steroids, class four, marijuana was class two. So if you had a joint, so if you ever smoked a joint in your life, Canada deemed you as a worse criminal than Coach Gray. Class two versus class four. Does it make it sense yet? Now, I go to the freaking liquor store and buy weed. I go online and I type and I click, ooh, edibles, they look tasty. I'm gonna have that tonight, I'm gonna smoke this one. Can't wait. All the strains and batches of the government taxes it and they make money on it. But two years ago, you were a criminal if you, did, if you took any weed. If you smoked a joint, you're a horrible human being. How dare you? But you can get drunk. You can drink six bottles of wine. Anybody drink and drive in their life? It happens. People lose lives because of it. But Coach Greg is so horrible because he was on HRT in a bike race. Prescribed by a doctor. So bad. What a horrible human. Because it gave him such an unfair advantage over those C-class riders. Not B or A. The C riders. Because steroids are such an advantage that when you ride a bicycle, you should all look like this. This is how you should look. That helps you bike ride fast. Because in the Tour de France, all the top cyclists are jacked like crazy. They all look like freaking Hercules. Or are they anorexic looking and skinny? Or are cyclists tiny? Or do cyclists have teeny little muscles? Five foot six, almost 200 pounds. Does that sound like a typical bike rider? Do you think that gave me a huge advantage over the other C-class riders in a local ride for fun? For fun, we're racing for fun. It's not to make the friggin' national championships, not the provincials, it's a for fun race. Then that comes out, and then guess what? I join fun club rides, for fun. Hey, let's all meet here at nine o'clock, 20 of us, and let's go for a ride. What do you think happens? We refuse to have you attend this bike ride. Well, I'm going anyway. You cannot. We know that you're on HRT. It's a bad thing. I'm just going to ride and get in shape. I like to ride a bike. I want to ride my bike. I want to get in cardiovascular shape, improve my heart, and be a healthy guy. We heard you sold steroids eight years ago. Yeah, I did some bad things. Um, I shoplifted when I was 12, and I was speeding on the highway last month. Have everyone ever done anything bad in their life? Think of, you, think of the worst thing you've done in your life that no one knows about. Nobody knows. Or think of the five worst things that you've done in secret when no one was looking, that no one knows. Your grandmother wasn't around, your mom, and nobody was around. Now assume the whole world knows about it. 
That's me. That's my life. That's what I have. That's what I go through every day. The whole world knows about the worst thing I've done in my life. Imagine that everybody knows about the worst thing you have ever done in your life. That's what it's like to be Coach Greg. A lot of people would be stressed out about that. A lot of people wouldn't like that. And trust me, there's rumors and lies. And they make it worse and make it seem worse. They'll say the opposite of the truth. And all oh, the comments, and it's like, oh, let's get it. We're going to say this about it. And they hear a rumor, and they spread the rumor. They don't even know if the rumor's true at all. But, oh, it must be true because I read it on the Internet. You read it on the Internet. Studies by scientists on the Internet, half of those are wrong. But you read a rumor, and you think that's correct, that it must be true. I mean, come on. The amount of bullying. So this woman that applied for the job refused to work for me after 80 people applied for the job. 80 people applied. She applied without doing research anyway. Wouldn't have hired her anyway. Didn't even know who Coach freaking Greg was. You're applying for the job? What? 80 people. You don't think one of them is going to freaking know who I am and is going to get the job? 80 people. People with master's degrees are applying for this job. So I have to deal with these people. So she's like, or he, we're not going to say, or circle. This circle, we don't know who it is, doesn't want to work with Coach Greg because they're a healthy human being. They're really focused on their health. And how dare that guy? Has that person seen any of my videos? Nope, they haven't seen my videos. Do I sound like I promote or destroy health and fitness. Do you feel like I have a channel that's out to hurt people, that's out to reduce fitness and health? Or do I encourage physical activity? Do I encourage you to eat healthy, to diet and exercise, to go see the doctor, to be safe, to use the lowest dose possible, to get your blood work done? Or do I just say, blast and cruise, guys, let's just get jacked. Who cares? Let's just train harder than last time and let's just go crazy and injure ourselves and take more freaking injects than last time. Inject more. Let's just take more. Or do I say, be smart about it, hire a coach, get a doctor, get your blood work done. Ah, what does sounds more like what I do? So yeah, you get judged. All these people hate me because of my past. Meanwhile, they probably have a past that's just as bad or worse. So does the past make the human or the present? Everything that you've ever done in your life, it was recorded and videotaped and everybody knew about it and they cherry picked the worst moments of your life, the worst words that ever came out of your mouth, the worst single act you ever, ever, ever did and can't believe you did it. If everyone knew about that, would they see you differently? Of course they would. They would judge you. People judge each other all the time. I'm here saying you can't just judge somebody on one single act. One single act. Most people are lucky. They don't have the spotlight on them to know about those one single acts that you did that are going to make people think that you're a horrible human being. So anyway, that's enough of that. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg said IB Pro. Got lots of people to interview. Somebody who actually watches Coach Greg doesn't care about his past or, or her past or this circle's past, is going to get a job, probably two, and they're going to help me, and we're going to keep spreading the positive word. I'm going to, I'm going to keep calling out the bullshit, though. People that spew lies, I'm going to call it out. People that say good stuff, I'm going to call them out and signal them and praise them and say, hey, yes, this person's accurate. Watch more of them. Okay, That's what I do trying to promote health and fitness. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IB Pro. Bloop it up two videos so that you can watch some more. And until next time, I'm out. Is what you did in your past more than what... Is what you did in... I wish to thank you immensely for your kind consideration for the internet. So this person wrote, I wish to thank you immensely for your kind consideration for the internet. So this person wrote,